Brian Crouch was born July 12, 2001, in the United Kingdom to David Crouch, a retired gas executive from Liverpool, and her Filipino mother, Susan Della Cuesta. At age 8, she moved to the island of Alonisos in the Aegean Sea with her parents, and whilst growing up, she enjoyed diving, acting, and was a model student. In 2013, age 13, she met Karolabos Anagnostopoulos, 25, and better known as Babis. Shortly after, they began dating, which led to them marrying in 2019 in Portugal. Months later, Caroline gave birth to her first child, a daughter, which the couple named Livia, while continuing her studies in statistics at the University of Perios, working as a computerized content maker, and being an avid and energetic kickboxer. Babis worked as a helicopter pilot, and the young family seemed happy, in love, and with a bright future. But all that was about to change. Attica police arrived to a family home located in the upscale residential area of Glicanera, a suburb of Athens, to a haunting scene. Upon entering the bedroom, the first officer on the scene found 20-year-old British expat Caroline Crouch, deceased and tied to her bed. Her 11-month-old daughter, Via, laid next to her, attempting to wake her up. Upon entering another room, officers found 32-year-old Bobby Sad Adams Lovelace in a chair handcuffed, his eyes and mouth covered with duct tape. Upon further venture throughout the house, family's husband was also found killed, hanging by its own leash from a banister. Caroline's husband Babis, on interrogation, claimed that in the early hours of the morning, three foreign criminals entered the family home, beat and tied him up, demanding money. During the home invasion, Babis claimed the thieves hung their husky to intimidate, and he heard the robbers threaten his wife and daughter's life, even after stealing 10,000 euros which was hidden in the monopoly set, and was to pay for a builder's bill. Once Caroline, who had a black belt in kickboxing, attempted to break free, they turned their threats into reality, suffocating the 20-year-old mother for five minutes in front of her own daughter. The whole ordeal lasted for more than an hour, and upon struggling, Babby stated he caught a glimpse of one of the killers, describing him as tall, dark-skinned, overweight, and under. 30 years old. He was also able to identify a silver coat and a black pistol as the weapons of a robber's choice. As the news of the heartless murder broke, sending shockwaves around the Greek public, Babis gave multiple interviews in front of the family home, once again claiming foreign nationals, Albanians and Georgian criminals of the murder. Talking to news crews, Babis wished no one to go through what they went through the previous night. We begged the thieves not to harm us. We told them where the money is and asked them to leave us alone. I have trust that the police will solve and catch these killers, is what he stated to the media. Later in the evening, the Greek government announced a 260,000 euro reward for any information, whilst many Greek politicians voiced calls to reinstate the death penalty and legalization of guns for Greeks to protect themselves from foreign criminals. Dividing citizens as some agreed with the proposals and some claiming but highlighted what many believe is rampant prejudice against minority groups within the country, specifically Albanians. Six days later, on May the 17th, a 36-year-old Georgian man, unnamed, was arrested at the Evros border while attempting to cross to Bulgaria using a fake passport. In a briefing, police claimed that the 36-year-old was found to be a match for biological forensic evidence collected from the scene of a previous violent home invasion which had been committed on March the 7th in Athens. Both crime scenes had many similarities and located within a 20-minute radius. Days later, police claimed that the Georgian confessed to the robbery murder and they would be investigating further by identifying further suspects. On June 17th, the 40-day memorial since Caroline's death, 
scenes of Babis comforting his late wife's mother whilst cradling his daughter at her burial site on the island of Alonisus where Caroline grew up surfaced on the news. Once the memorial ended, two undercover officers approached Babis, requesting he accompany them to the station, claiming they had found the ringleader of the crimes and wished that he could identify them as the murderers and present him with some new evidence. Babis was rushed to Attica Police Headquarters in Athens by helicopter and was presented with evidence that unraveled his story of the events of the night his wife was murdered. Greek police had been puzzled over several important issues regarding Babis' story. The analysis of the crime scene did not confirm the allegations that robbers were involved in the murder. Compared to other robbery cases, there were no fingerprints on the scene, no DNA samples that indicate struggle or sexual assault, no camera footage, and no cell phone records. After further investigations, police discovered that during the period of when Babis claimed to have been tied up by the burglars, unable to assist his wife as she was being suffocated, police found that he was actively using his phone. Investigators were even able to determine from an app that tracks user steps that Anagnostopoulos was up and walking around during the time he stated he was tied down by the intruders. His phone, along with that of his wife's, showed that the couple had been fighting that night according to records. The last text crap sent her husband that night was the word stupid in English. Caroline's smartwatch, which tracked data regarding her health, including her heart rate, showed the exact moments of her death, which did not match with Babis' original statement. Babis had also stated to police that the thieves had wiped the memory cards from the security cameras before they fled the scene, but after studying both the camera and memory cards, it was determined that it was removed, removed four or five hours before the time Babis told the police the thieves left the home. After eight hours of interrogations, Babis finally confessed. I'm sorry, it was me. I killed Caroline. Babis claimed that they had been fighting on the evening of the murder and Caroline at one point threw baby Lydia into her bassinet and screamed at him to leave the house whilst pushing and punching him and that that is when he blurred out and suffocated her. Then he decided to stage the crime scene, claiming he did not want to leave his daughter an orphan. To make his fake story more believable, he proceeded to drown the family's husky and hide the so-called stolen money and jewellery in his scooter. Then he called the police and tied himself up after trashing the house. Days later, Babis was taken to court wearing a bulletproof vest, where he gave a five-hour testimony apologising to journalists. After further investigations, police recovered Caroline's diary, which detailed unhappiness in the marriage and her desire to separate. Other information that leaked to the press was that Babis had previously forced Caroline into terminating a previous pregnancy after they had started dating when she was 14 years old. After investigations into Bobby's finances, police discovered the couple had recently been on a lavish holiday to Dubai, spent 47,000 euros on land, and designed a 140,000 dream home, raising fears that Babis had been smuggling drugs for cartels. The Georgian man, who was released after Babis's confession, claimed he had been tortured for four days by Greek police until he also confessed he was responsible to get them to stop the beatings, which sparked more controversy in the media for the handling of the investigation by the police. We were also dealing with previous bad press, as many videos had surfaced of police beating innocent bystanders on the streets with batons to prevent the spread of COVID during lockdown periods. To add insult to injury, days after Babis's confession, the chief of police stressed his frustration that the pilot had not originally confessed, as he would have only received a four-year jail term and not the new possibility of a life sentence, causing more outrage towards the judicial system. Babis Anagnostopoulos is currently held in jail 
while awaiting trial. While Caroline's mother was granted full custody of baby Livia and plans to race on the island of Alonsus, whilst visiting Caroline's grave daily to keep her memory alive.